Hello, and welcome back to the Sims 4 Collection Challenge. It's me, Insanely ADD, but you can call me Addy if you want. Anyways, this time I have, uh, it is with the knowledge of how bad my editing and the volume and everything was on the previous episodes that I've decided to do a little adjustment for some of the things. Like, for instance, I noticed <laughs> in a lot of the footage, I'm like, 3,000 feet away from the sims while they're doing their little things and that's just how I personally prefer to play because then I have a good view of the area around it but I was like that makes for terrible footage you never get to see them emote or do anything like really close up which sucks because you know people did work hard to make the animations for this game so I'm going to try to have them be more zoomed in whenever they're doing activities and I'm not just zooming through like getting their needs fixed or whatever um, I've also decided to adjust how I'm sitting in my chair, so I'm a little bit closer to my microphone. And I adjusted my settings in OBS, so the volume is louder in general. Because I noticed my, my, my vocals are just so quiet. And I don't know what was causing that, but I did a little test with the new uh, settings and adjustments before I started recording. And it all looks good now. So hopefully you'll be able to hear like the little noises that I hear and my voice better than before so yeah this episode i um you know i genuinely don't have a plan give me a moment i'm gonna look at the collections i have so far and i'm gonna come up with some idea for what to do my current bet is once again going to sulani but i've already done that for like the last two episodes it's just it's winter there's a blizzard like every single world is going to be so freezing cold and i don't I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it at all, actually. <laughs> but yeah, just give me a moment. I'm going to look over the collection list to see if there's anything I can do at home or anywhere else. Okay, so I looked over the collection list, and I think that I might be able to do something that isn't at home and also wouldn't involve my sims potentially freezing to death. Because I bought that new pack, that new for rent pack, and... Um, there's two new collections from that pack. It's the marbles and the tassels. So I think I might have them go do that. Uh, I think I'll wait for the others to get home first, and I'll try to resolve some of these, uh, some of their needs in the meantime. They're all in winter wear, and I guess, I mean, I guess it's cold. It's just not snowy out. Sick. Well, I'm gonna go have them. Where is that frickin' beach? I guess there's a beach right here, isn't there? I could have them go to this beach. Excellent. Hooray, another day where I have to dig on a beach for shit. <laughs> oh well. None of you can see anything, but I am currently getting sat on by a little kitty cat. It's my cat. Her name's Pumpkin. She's very small. She's like the size of a five month old cat. That's well, cold. I hope it's not so cold that they freeze in the water. That would suck ass. Hmm. Ah, well that sucks, doesn't it? Can they even make it to their destination? Um, I'm gonna say no. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have mercy on them both, and I'm just gonna cancel all the things that they were gonna do, and then I'm just gonna have them teleport to the beach. Well, this is great. They're both swimming in the sand. Incredible. Uh, there we go. Resetting them, fix them. Okay, now get back into your, like, warm clothes. Hmm. You know, I never noticed before that those rocks actually have different things on them depending on what might be inside them. Oh. I guess this one was a capsule. I thought it would be a fossil because it had, like, bones and, you know, stuff. Let's see. Locals have always ventured into Beard Beard Cove to soak up both beauty and history. Along the eastern wall, Crescent Archivist finds the cave carvings and drawings all splayed out. It tells the tale of war and triumph. If you're keen enough to decipher it, well... Cool. We have a tassel. We have another tassel. Huzzah! Another one of these freaking mad scientist ones. Well, I don't need any of that. Well, is that all there is on this beach? Or should I look at the other beaches to see if there's more diggable spots? Because I thought it would be like Sulani where you can just like click the beach and like beach comb for it, but I guess you have to like find like patches of sand to dig through. 
but it doesn't appear to be the case. Ah. What's going on over here? Ooh! Is this close to Cosmos? Because if it is, I can have them look for Void Critter cards. Hopefully, you'll get Void Critter cards and not like a normal toy. If you get a normal toy, well, I'll sell it. Because you have a toy box at home. And I think that has like every single normal toy in it. I do kind of want to open up a rental property because I think that kind of uh, passive income would be really good for them since none of them have jobs. They're all jobless. Unemployed. Not like I can talk. I'm also unemployed. By choice. Well, partially by choice. Partially because the United States government bribes me to not have a job. Yeah, like, look at this one. This one looks like it might be some kind of mineral because it's got, like, the gold on it. And then there's ones with crystals on it. Oh, I wonder why they do that if it doesn't actually indicate anything. Hmm. Maybe there's just always a chance that it could be a capsule. I'm not sure. Baconite. What the heck? And robot salvage parts. Incredible. How about you? Ooh! Sick. That was good. Let's see. Ooh, a rare one. That's good. That's something for the collection. Have I had that one before? Yeah. Well, it's late. Or late enough. I'm gonna have them all go home now. I still don't think I explored everything and found all the little collectible whatever the hex, you know, like the rocks and stuff that I can dig up. It's just, this place is huge. It's genuinely massive. So it's uh, kind of difficult to <laughs> explore everything. You know, I have yet to look in the build items after I got the new pack. I wonder if there's something the tassels go on. Because I know there's something to put the marbles in. I have to go to the night market for that, but I'm already home. If I'm gonna have anyone go to the night market, it might be Lou because he is nocturnal. So that's like an idea. Well, it appears that there isn't anything to put the tassels on specifically. I think they can hang on walls though. So I'll be doing that with them. All right. Next thing on the agenda is uh, getting the house ready because it's gonna be Winterfest tomorrow. Is it Winterfest or is it something else? I forget. Oh, that's a weird bug. That's because of the roofs, isn't it? Weird. Why is it doing that? Hmm. Whatever. I'll ignore it. Excellent. That's a new figure. That's great. I'll go put that in the collection room. Yeah, you can like gardening, Lou. Oh, is, are these bugged? Huh. He's already weeded both of them, but... Hmm. Well, that's a fun bug. Let me just, uh... Yeah. Okay, so maybe I could... Set gardening state weeds. Uh, mulched. I'm just gonna fix that because that's a bug and I... You know, maybe I'll have him fertilize the plants because they don't need any other tending besides that. I mean, do they get fertilized? No, they've actually all been recently fertilized except for the one that's just been planted. So I don't have anything else for him to do. And I know that if I have him leave the house, then everyone's needs are going to be all weird and jacked up because they're not actually going to be asleep when I leave, which is incredibly annoying. But I'll live. I'm glad Lou has decided on the excellent atmosphere of my cool-ass library to read this book. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Leveled up. This is the designated Father Winter drop zone. I'm gonna have them decorate this tree in a second, but first I have to have Satellite shave because, unfortunately, they have a hairy back. <laughs> and they only wear tank tops, so that's like... Mm, really unfortunate. Fun fact about this room, by the way, this room 
the stairs and the upper floor for this room, that counts for like literally one sixth of the entire price of this whole house. So, <laughs> well, that get famous stuff is no joke, it's expensive. Hell yeah, decorate that Christmas tree. Or Winterfest tree, I guess. I mean, okay, if you want to. Why is this world famous celebrity always prank call me? Has anyone else experienced this? Like this specific sim? Who's a world famous celebrity? Like prank calls you? Does she just genuinely and sincerely have nothing better to do? All right. Now I'm just gonna have Penumbra failing to decorate tree. What do you mean failing? It looks great. Yeah, exactly. Jingle bells in Simlish. You know, it does annoy me that when uh, they sing festive songs for holidays, it's like. It is literally always like Old Lang Syne or Jingle Bells. Is this just like the only two songs that you have access to that are like public domain? Is that it or something? You know, it doesn't matter what room they're in. They always feel uncomfortable from filthy surroundings, but there's literally nothing and no one else is being bothered by it. So I'm just gonna... Cool. Now you're just mad. I mean, they do come pre-decorated, but I wanted you all to decorate it because that's a fun interaction that you can do for this holiday. And it, like, checks off some of the stuff on this frickin' list. Eh, even if only three of you are getting the holidays, when are they gonna fix that? Like, genuinely. It's really annoying. See, so you like Father Winter and presents. You, like, you don't really enjoy anything too much, but you will like the grand meal and you will have the presents, so that will get you checked off enough to have a nice holiday. And then she's just having a fucking blast. Look at her. She's so happy. I mean, she's also embarrassed, but she's also so happy. Well, soon you'll have the grand meal and all this stuff will be checked off for you. And you'll have an absolutely amazing holiday. A perfect holiday, perhaps. No one else will, though. Let's see. Uh, festive spirit. You ignore this tradition from being evil. Yeah. Because evil people can't enjoy holidays, of course. Uh, Father Winter. Ignores this tradition from being evil. You know, if there's one thing cartoons have taught me, it's that evil people actually get really mad that Santa doesn't give them nice things. So if anything, they shouldn't ignore Santa. They should be even more fixated on Santa and perhaps want to fight him. Like evil people in general, not Crescent specifically. Yeah, and you don't like Grand Meal because you're a baby. And you don't like, you don't care about decorations because you are a baby. I mean, that makes sense, but I gotta be honest with you. Like, when I was a kid, I liked the grand meals. I liked having all this fun food that I only got to really eat, like, one time a year. I thought that was nice. So. Once again, I think that these things are a little silly. However, everyone is pretty hungry right now. Except for Lou. Wait, what the hell? Oh, boy. Oh, no. That's a terrible... <laughs> That's a terrible drawback for you because you're literally a romantic sim, which means you'll randomly get flirty. And also you're married. So, that's also inevitable. Oh boy. You're gonna be... Oh, I'm not looking forward to that at all. That's fun. Woohoo. Let's see, is everyone hungry? I mean, you also have to go to the bathroom and take a shower. So I'll have you go to the one down here. Because there is a... Oh. I mean, you're gonna have to fix that, but yeah. Everyone better hurry and do their little frickin' tasks. Yeah. Anyone want shards of glass in their turkey? Because you're gonna get them. Everyone's almost here. Just need to wait for Solari. Excellent. Now everyone's here. Just in time for dinner! Hooray! Hooray! Penumbra, call everyone to the grand meal. Ah. 
Lou. I mean, he's the only one actually following the program, genuinely. Like, why wouldn't you sit in the fancy dining room for, like, Winterfest dinner? Truly. After this, I need to have Solari take a shower because... Oh. She got all reset. Yeah, I know, you stink. Eat your dinner. The whole frickin' family. You know, hold on. I just realized. I had this chair set off to the side to kind of like symbolize their parent that they don't have anymore, right? In this lore, I don't know, maybe they're dead. Um, but I should probably put that chair back at the table because Lou lives with us now. Right. Congratulations, Lou. You have a seat at the table. And you don't have to sit in another room all by yourself. Oh. Uh, you all better take care of your plates or I will throw you into a pit of lava. Sorry, I've been playing Minecraft, so I've, you know, Minecraft terms. Unfortunately, I can't, I mean, I guess lava does exist in The Sims, but you can't get killed by it. Which is a shame. <sighs> Okay, okay, I know, you need to go to the bathroom. Oh. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? You're gonna have to fix this toilet if you wanna go. I have no pity for you. Suffer. Oh, Lou, since you're up, I'm gonna have you go add some presents to the present pile. Because everyone else did. I'm gonna have all the younger ones go to the fancy living room. Because after this, we're gonna have them open presents. Excellent. Now everyone is here, and I can have you all open presents. Mm -hmm. Open presents with everybody. Woohoo! Let's see. Painting. Ooh! Junior Wizard starter set. I don't know what that is. Garden friend. I don't know what that is either. Uh, crystal clear digital camera. Oh! Cool. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're happy to get a little porcelain piggy? <laughs> That's- <laughs> no! Poor Lou. He got a bunch of upgrade parts. I mean, at least he was happy to get them, but like- Like, I know I'm having him do a lot of the stuff around- like, the menial tasks around the house, but like- I don't know! That's a bit mean, isn't it? Like, hey, I know you're basically the handyman around here. Here's some stuff you can use to <laughs> fix things. Incredible. Now, where is Father Winter? He's supposed to show up about 8 o'clock. Let me see. This hallway's lit up. Who the hell is that? Who are you? How did you get here? Rohan Elderberry. I'm, you know, I'm sincerely and genuinely baffled. How did you get into my house? Did you go in through one of the twins' balconies? Because you're coming up from where their rooms are. I am confused. Why? Is this another person? Oh, there's Father Winter. Excellent. Don't know why Rohan Elderberry is in my house. All I know now is that he is my enemy for being weird. He's probably a stalker. Doesn't that suck? Did I, like, invite them over? No, I didn't. What the hell? Weird. Hooray, Santa. Not Santa, legally distinct from Santa. Okay, now's your chance, kid. I'm actually so mad. I thought I recorded like another 20 minutes of this frickin' episode, but it turns out, for some reason, I don't know, maybe I didn't actually hit the record button like I thought or something, but it it's not there, which is annoying. 
So here I am, 10 days later, catching you up on everything that they got for Winterfest and also some other things that I was asking you guys that didn't get picked up, shakes fist at Sky. Um, so yeah, Father Winter gave Cosmos a Creative Art Thou activity table, which uh, they already have one, so I'm probably just going to sell it. Uh, they gave Penumbra a Fire Opal. Uh, he gave Crescent. <laughs> Crescent got an awful present from Father Winter. Apparently he was on the naughty list, as he should be. Uh, Crescent should be nicer to other Sims. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. It's a big ask. Uh, one future cube. <laughs> and, uh, from the presents that he put in the pile, we got a train set, an engine car, uh, tiny teacher nesting blocks, which is for toddlers, which, that was something I wanted to ask you all about. I was thinking about maybe having Crescent and Lou have a kid, because that's part of Crescent's aspiration anyway. Like, see, she has the big happy family one. And she hasn't completed anything because she doesn't even have a kid. <laughs> Ugh. So that sucks. So I was thinking about maybe having her have a kid with Lou. But, you know, I don't know if that's such a great idea. That might be a bad idea, especially since I already have so much to do constantly. But the idea is there and it is tempting. Hmm. Especially since the way that I raise babies is like, just noom through everything, try to max out all their skills or whatever. Like for it, with infants, because I don't have the growing together pack yet, um, what I normally do is I just have them try all the foods until they have a definite opinion on every food and then I age them up because I don't have milestones, so like what am I supposed to do? Just let it sit there? Not gonna happen. And then I make them toddlers and then I have them max all their skills and once their skills are maxed, every single one of them, then, then I freaking you know, age them up into children. Uh, so yeah, that gave me the idea. Uh, uh, Crescent got an easel, and Solari got platinum, or platium. Uh, oh, and Satellite got the slablet. <laughs> they can't wait to show this off. Ugh. <laughs> and Lou got candles, which, you know what? That makes sense. He's a flirty guy. You know, it makes sense that he would get candles. That just like sets a mood, doesn't it? But yeah, so. Uh, that's what I wanted to get through with this episode. I do believe, though, that this is a decent time to say goodbye for this episode. Well, I mean, it's goodbye for you guys. I am going to have to record the next episode now because I was editing the episode that you're seeing right here and that's when I realized that I was missing footage and I looked out the window and I screamed uh, anyway so it was nice hanging out with you guys again this week hopefully you like the better audio quality better camera angles all that stuff uh, let me know what you think down below like the video whatever you don't have to if you don't want to I'm not a cop uh, goodbye